Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of converting units. This is standard 6.4H in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 5 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a simple conversion here. We have 786 milliliters, and we need to convert that into liters. There are two ways to do this, so let's take a look at both of them. The first one is going to use a mnemonic to remember the prefixes of the metric system. So there are many different ones out there, but I always think of fantasy books. So kings, hate, dragons, and then you might say, well, why do kings hate dragons? because dragons, let's see if we can spell that correctly, dragons create messes. So if you can remember this mnemonic here, kings hate dragons because dragons create messes. What this does is this gives us a map of our metric system and it's, it's good. We can do this with the metric system, not our customary system because it's base 10. So each prefix here is worth 10 to the 1 to the right. It's worth 1 tenth of the 1 to the left. So right here we have our base unit. So we're going to start in the middle here. We're going to put some labels here. Our base unit. So the three base units we have are grams, meters, and then liters. In this case we are going to be using liters. But that's it's in the middle. We've got three to the left and three to the right. So we're going to be using liters. So moving to the right from our liters, we have deciliters, and we're just going to put that as a D. We could put DL if we want to. And then we've got centiliters, and then we've got milliliters. And notice that when we're dealing with liters, we use a capital L. We don't want that lowercase L to look like a, an I. So we have a capital L. When we're dealing with grams or meters, it's a lowercase. Going to the left, we have decaliters, and that is DA, because we already have a D for deci, so decaliters, hectoliters, and then kiloliters. And so we remember this kings hate dragons because dragons create messes. We just use that to remember the first letter in each of these, and this gives us our, our units here and our prefixes. And so we're going to treat this like it's place value here. And what we're going to do is we are going to put what we have here. We say we have 786 milliliters. All right, so when we're dealing with 786 milliliters, what we do is we build that number with the ones place in the unit place. So milliliters is over here on the far end. So we're going to deal with it like this. So we build it from right to left. I've got 786, my ones place is in my unit place, the milliliters. And so the question is, is how many liters did the scientists use? Well, if we want to have the liters, we need to move the decimal over so that the, the ones place is right here. So we're going to put a ones place right here. And what comes after this ones place is a decimal. Whenever we deal with a ones place and there's something uh, beyond that to the right, we always put a decimal there. So we now move the ones place to right here to liters and it looks like we got 0 0.786 or 786 thousandths. So that is going to be our answer. Now is there a simpler way to do it? Well sure. We could say that one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. This is on your conversion chart that's on the star test. And so what we can do is we can just say, well, if I've got 786 milliliters, when we're going from big to small, we multiply. And when we're going from small to big, we divide. In this case, we want to change 786 milliliters into one liter, into liters, excuse me, just how many liters we need, we don't know yet. And that's going to go from small to big because milliliters are smaller, so we are going to divide. So we just take the 786, we divide by a thousand, because there's a thousand, and guess what we get? 786 thousandths.